If you love LinkedIn and you love Power BI, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to extract all your data from LinkedIn, how you can then pull that into Power BI and create a report and have a look at some historical trends. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So what you need to do is log in to your LinkedIn account and up the top here, there's a me section. If you click on the me section, you need to go to settings and privacy. So I've selected that it's opened up in a new tab and on the left here, you can see how LinkedIn uses your data. If you select on that, the second option here, you have get a copy of your data. If you hit the change button over here, uh, there's two options. You can pick something in particular. You might just want articles, or articles and connections. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab download and just get the whole thing. So I'm going to click on request archive. Uh, it's going to ask me for my password. Click on that and that'll be done. So you'll see here it's got a message download pending. So within maybe five minutes, you should get an email from LinkedIn and it has some data, uh, but it doesn't have the full extract. You get the full extract in 24 hours. So I've already done this and I'll show you what that looks like. I head over to my emails. Here you can see, here's the, the LinkedIn. Um, so give some information. Hi Warren, here's your email. Um, this archive is good for 72 hours and you click on the download link and what it's going to do is it's just going to extract the data for you. So I've extracted that data. Um, I did this 8th of August and here's all the files that you can get. If we can, I'll sort that by size. You can see which one's interesting. So all the messages that I've sent, all the connections that I've made, the reactions I've made, invitations I've sent to people, comments, this data only relates to what I've done. So I don't get to see comments on my posts, uh, interactions with my posts. Unfortunately, I only get to see what I have done on other people's posts. So let's open up Power BI and we'll bring in this messages, connections, and maybe comments as well, shares. So open up Power BI desktop. And then what you need to do is go get data CSV, take CSV. Okay, navigate to your folder, LinkedIn folder, complete extract. And I'll just sort that by size as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in messages, connections, reactions, invitations, comments, shares. Uh, you do have to do it one by one. So I'll just do that. So I've loaded in the five tables. Um, you can see messages didn't get the column headers. So you might have to clean that up. I'll head over to Power Query. Transform that data and fix up messages. Okay, so we just use the first row as headers. Okay, looks like some fields we should probably get rid of. Um, folder as well. Uh, and you probably will need to split these dates. So I'm going to split these dates by delimiter. Um, so by the first space space, leftmost delimiter. I'm not going to worry about the, oh, the time might be interesting. I might leave the time, uh, but I do have a date now. I'll just get rid of that minus one. Um, I will change the date. Um, I'm just going to do a find and replace. So I'm going to go to the transform table, find replace, get rid of that space UTC. Get rid of that. Um, so now Rename that to a time. I 
takes out of time. Okay. Um, so you will have to go through the other tables and fix that date and time. I've now, I've gone through all these five tables and I've given them a date and where there is a time, I've split it out so that I have two columns, one date, one for time. So I hit close and apply. And that data is getting loaded to the model. Um, and so now I can look at my connections over time. So if I pull in my time, put that on line chart, change it from hierarchy to connected on, and don't really have any identifiers here, so I'll just count positions, count of position. that up. Now I, I started on LinkedIn a long time ago but I didn't actually start doing anything until 2018. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all that historical data. Now I've got a lot of dates in five tables so I should also create myself a date table. So I'm going to go over to modeling and I should expand this so I can see the labels new table. Um, so I've got a pre-made calendar table there. Just add that in and then we'll join everything in the model view on dates. So I'll just quickly do that. So everything is now joined on the calendar here on date. Head back over to my report and what I want to do is okay so now what we can do is I want to look at my connections over time so I'll take the date from the calendar table and now I can take I need to count something in connections so I'll count the position there's no really ID there so count. I don't want the date as a hierarchy. I'll take it as a date. Um, so I've got data back, you know, 2011, but I only really started using LinkedIn in 2018. So what we can do is on this visual, let's take the date and let's filter on the date. Uh, relative filtering, let's say in the last one year apply that filter um, and so we can see see how I've been going so looks like some days I've got some must have some good posts got well over a hundred there so we'll expand that uh, we can make a card for the total connections so this sh I should have about 15,000 connections so if I just create a card and if I take position, drop it in there, change that to count. So we have 15,000 connections. And on this line, obviously I can bring in others. So I've got count of position. Um, I can do count of messages that I sent. Uh, um, how many times I'm sharing etc. Um, so there's a lot here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just build it out. So I've done some data visualizations here, added a few images. So we've got a little a background that sort of looks very LinkedIn and the LinkedIn logo. I've got about 15,000 connections that I've got. I can see the most of my connections come from the city of Casey. Uh, we're going to put a custom tooltip in there to see how my connect, I'm connecting with people at the city of Casey over time. Uh, my next one is Microsoft. Looks like it's going up. Um, I've also added, you know, how I'm sharing over time. Um, so here we can see massive pickup here on how I'm connecting with people um, since 2020. Um, my how I'm reacting um, to other people's posts. This has gone up a bit. 
uh, messaging stayed around the same. So I can track that over time and, you know, do I want to keep it, keep my connections going up? What's it, over 800 or 1,000 a month? So it's quite a lot. And also, how am I posting or sharing on weekdays or by the hour? So here we can see I've mainly been sharing Monday to Friday, my highest day being Tuesday, and it looks like at nine o'clock. So if I just select on a Tuesday, I can see that it's definitely a nine o'clock posting that I'm doing. If I look at Saturday, it looks like it's a bit more spread, even some in the evening. Um, but you know, I can track over time and have a look at my posting hours um, and maybe compare that to my engagement. Fortunately, again, this doesn't give you engagement data, which would be awesome. But this is what you can do for free. If you want to engage with this report and click around and see how it works, I'll put it up on my blog. If you want to download the template file so you can use this exact report with your own LinkedIn data, I'll also put that on my blog. The link will be below. Otherwise, please subscribe. I'll be doing some more social media channels and getting some more social media data out, plus a lot of other interesting videos. So I'll see you there.